Let's solve this problem. Evaluate the integral. So we have the integral of x plus 1 over x squared plus x minus 12 dx. So we can evaluate this integral using partial fraction decomposition. So we factor first the denominator. So we can have integral of x plus 1 over. So the factored form of this quadratic trinomial is x plus 4 times x minus 3 dx. Let's consider the integrand x plus 1 over x plus 4 times x minus 3. So we will decompose this rational expression into sum of partial fraction. So we will consider all the factors which is linear factors in the denominator. So this is the first case when we are decomposing rational fractions into sum of partial fractions. That is when the denominators have linear factors. So let's consider first the x plus 4 factor. And then if it's just a linear factor, you need to put an unknown constant on the numerator, let's say capital A, plus, then let's consider also the next factor, x minus 3, and then let's put another unknown constant in the numerator, let's say B. So we need to find the value of A and B in this equation. So what I will do is multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD, which is the original denominator. So if you multiply the left side by the LCD, we can just cancel everything. So we are left with x plus 1. And on the right side, this time if we multiply the a over x plus 1 times the LCD, we can cancel out the x plus 4. We will be left with a times x minus 3. Plus, lastly, if we multiply the b over x minus 3 to the LCD, this time we will cancel the x minus 3. We will be left with b times x plus 4. So we will have x plus 1 equal to, so let's distribute the a, a times x, that's ax, a times negative 3, that's negative 3a, plus, let's distribute also the b, we have b times x, that's bx, plus b times 4, that's 4b. So I can combine similar terms on the right side, so ax plus bx, I can just factor out the x, so I can have a plus b times quantity x, and then for the constant, we have positive 4b minus 3a. Now, I will use equating coefficients. So I will equate the coefficients of same degree on x on the right and on the left side. So for the first power of x, I can have the coefficient of x on the left side as 1. And the coefficient of x on the right side is a plus b. So I can equate 1 equal to a plus b. Then for the constant term, I have 1 on the left side, and on the right side, these terms, 4b minus 3a. So I can have 1 equal to 4b minus 3a. So let's solve this system of equations in two unknowns a and b simultaneously. So I can use elimination method by multiplying equation 1 both sides by 3. I will have 3 is equal to... 3a plus 3b. I will rewrite the second equation as 1 equal to negative 3a plus 4b. Then I can add both sides of the two equations. So 3 plus 1, that will be 4, equal to, let's add 3a plus negative 3a, so that's 0. So we cancel the a. Therefore, we can solve for the b. Let's add first 3b plus 4b, that will be 7b. Then, to solve for b, let's divide both sides by 7. Therefore, b is equal to 4 over 7. Now, to solve for a, we can use this equation 1. So, let's substitute the value of b, which is 4 over 7. So, we'll have 1 is equal to a plus b, which is 4 over 7. Transposing 4 sevens to the left side, we will have 1 minus 4 7 is equal to a. So 1 minus 4 7, that will be 3 7. So a is equal to 3 over 7. Now, let's substitute the values of a and b 
in the sum of partial fraction form, we have a over x plus 4 plus b over x minus 3. So the value of a is 3 7. So we have 3 7 over x plus 4 plus b, which is 4 over 7 over x minus 3. So this is now the form of the integral that we will evaluate because it's easier now to evaluate this integral. So I can distribute this integral symbol together with the dx first. So I'll put the constant in front. So 3 7 times the integral of dx over x plus 4 plus Again, I'll uh, put the constant 4, 7 in front. So, 4, 7 integral of dx over x minus 3. So, evaluating these two integral, this will be yielding natural logarithm, right? So, for the first one, we have 3, 7 times integral of dx over x plus 4. That's ln x plus 4 plus 4, 7 times the integral of dx over x minus 3. That's ln of x minus 3 then don't forget the constant of integration plus c so therefore this is the final answer okay so now it's your turn so try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers